Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you the static keyword and we're going to use it to create a static function. So what's a static function? Static function, unlike any other function, I said function like a million times in the last two seconds, is one that doesn't require an object of the class to be created to be able to access it like, you know, it does right here. So if, for example, I, you know, just use the name of the class, car, I'll do dot epic fun, save that, run it. We get an error. It says car dot epic fun is not a function, and that's because epic fun needs to have an object created. Whereas if I create another function and to create a static function, we use this keyword static, and I'm gonna go and call it static fun. And again, as with any other function, as I've covered in the functions video of this series, you can have parameters in there, you can do return statements, all that stuff, it's all simple, it's all the same. If I do a console log here, and I would say, this is epically static, this is epically static, and now if I replace that with static fun, and I run it, as you can see, this is epically static. And that's what a static function is. It does not require an object to be created. So if I literally delete all of these lines of code and reload, as you can see, it still works. We got a class. We haven't created an instance of it in the form of an object. I'm just gonna undo this. But we're still able to access it. So if let's say you have some functionality that's linked with what your class is, but you want it to be accessible, you know, anywhere really without having to create an object of it, this is the way to go. You use a static function. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and I'll lend you a hand. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next static video.